Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would give you a little insight into how I deal with this one's grass belly. She is the absolute definition of a good doer. She just looks at grass and gets fat. So basically I thought I'd start with what I have to feed her. Now unfortunately she cannot have hay. I'd love to give her soaked hay because this is the best but she has to have haylage. All she can have, and annoyingly, of course, it's full of sugar, so it's rather fattening. Um, she's just having literally enough to make her survive and not get ulcers. In terms of feed, I basically would stop feeding her, but she does need to have something, so I have got her on this blue chip, super concentrated, low calorie balancer. She is only getting a scoop a day, so half in the morning, half at night. Now, this just means that she's getting all the goodness that she needs, because of course she is an older girl. And this is just packed with all the vitamins and minerals that she needs to have. And she's basically not having any chaff. Oh, but not forgetting, she does get this joint relief. Now, on to fields. So, I wanted to do the track system, but I just don't have enough posts because she kept breaking them. So, I'm doing this strip grazing system. This bit of grass has just been opened up. She's literally been eating down this patch for about a week which is why it's bare, but that's what I needed because I really needed for her belly to go down quite quickly. Um, so all I'm gonna be doing now is moving that fence out ever so, ever so gradually. Um, so that's what she's enjoying today, but that's just how I'm managing it because the problem I think it is, is it's more just the quantity of food that she was consuming. Look at that belly. It's purely just the food and the amount that was going into her that was causing the problem which is why I think if I strip graze and move the fence back ever so slightly every now and again, we should be able to control it. Oh, here goes the dog. Exercise time. Now, obviously, understandably, this is the most important part. She is normally in four to five days a week work in the show season purely because she is 22 now and once she gets a sort of like a level of fitness I just keep her going I don't need to be hammering her or anything like that I mean in the showing ring it's literally possibly the easiest job um, she'll be in the ring for an hour but she'll probably only actually ride for about 20 minutes so there's a lot standing around so she's you know that's the sort of level of fitness I keep her at and it suits her it fits really well with her arthritis so we're very lucky we do live on canic chase and we have got some amazing hacking it's really really good for hill work it's really up and downy it's really like rough terrain there's a lot of sort of off-road riding as i call it um and then what i tend to do is when i'm when obviously i'm filming so i can't do it while i'm filming because i didn't have my gopro but i will have her on a contact the whole entire time i will really really work her we will trot up hills for stamina and then I will walk or do a slow canter up some hills to help build muscle. I definitely noticed that she was far fitter since moving to Canuck. I think the type of hacking and the terrain just gave her a completely different type of fitness and I am so so grateful for it. We will hack probably most of the time and then I'll score her occasionally and she will lunge once or probably twice a week. Now, again, I'm filming so I can't get her to work properly, but I have her on this sort of Germanade. She just does, she's worked up now to six minutes of trot on each rein. And I use these telegraph poles as raised poles, uh, or I do sometimes get trot poles out, uh, counter poles. But yeah, ultimately I use it for cardio. So. I've built her up to doing six minutes of trot on each rein. We'll add in the odd sort of canter transition and a half circle of canter, but I do not want her going around on really small, tight circles. So I pretty much use the whole entire length of line, and I will also walk her up and down the school so that she's not just going around in tight circles. But yeah, this is kind of our cardio. We'll do this sort of once a week, maybe twice if I'm really, really busy. And actually she quite enjoys it. Every now and again you get a good old bucket of fart and she tends to really, really enjoy it. So that's basically a very uncomplicated way of how I manage weight. It's a very short video, but what else can you talk about? It's just controlling her food and upping her exercise. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.